Welcome everyone, here is how you transfer data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone 14. First of all, the iPhone 14 must be on the Hello screen right here. To verify what screen you're on, click the lock button once to turn off the iPhone 14, then click the lock button again. If you see the screen, your iPhone 14 is ready for data transfer. If you see a regular lock screen like this, then you need to do a factory reset on the new iPhone 14. So I'll show the process on this iPhone here. To do the factory resets, you're gonna open up the settings app. From here, you're gonna find where it says general. You're then going to find at the very bottom, transfer or reset iPhone. Tap on this one, then tap on erase or content and settings. Tap on continue. You may be asked to enter in your Apple ID password your password to the iPhone, then your device will be factory reset and you'll be brought to this screen right here. Next, make sure the iPhone you're trying to transfer data from is unlocked and on the home screen. And then on the iPhone 14, we're just going to slide up to open. And you should see here, set up new iPhone, use your Apple ID, the Apple ID right here, to set up your new iPhone for yourself or a child in your family. If you don't see the screen pop up right here, then on the iPhone 14, you want to navigate until you are brought to Quick Start. If you went too far, you went past Quick Start, just tap on the back button until you see this menu. Then you will see the screen. If you don't see the screen, you're gonna to want to turn off and turn back on the iPhone. You do this by long pressing the power and volume down key together Long press these two, you will see slide to power off, slide the power off, turn back on the iPhone. If that still doesn't work, open up the settings app. You then want to find where it says Bluetooth, tap on this one and just turn on Bluetooth. So from here, I'm gonna tap on continue. And now my old iPhone is going to connect to my new iPhone 14. You're gonna see here, hold up your new iPhone up to the camera. So you're just going to place the camera lens in the frame of that bubble. If that doesn't work, there is an option to authenticate manually. Now we see here, set up your new iPhone. Just tap on set up for me. It's going to ask to enter the passcode of your other iPhone. You're gonna enter this one in. And now you're gonna see setting up your iPhone. Now it's going to automatically sync some information such as the Wi-Fi network so that you can activate your iPhone 14. If it does ask for an Apple ID and password, that is the password uh, for your Apple account. If you don't know the login for the Apple ID on your iPhone 14 and you bought this used, then the seller is trying to either scam you or forgot to remove their password. So you will need to contact the seller uh, in order to remove the passcode. If they can't do that, then you'll need to get a refund. From here, we have the face ID option. You can tap on continue and set up the face ID. In my case, I'm not gonna set up face ID, so I will select set up later. So now we'll give it a couple of seconds to load. And it should bring us to the transfer data page. There we go, transfer your data. Now, in some cases, you're not gonna see this. Instead, you're gonna see absent data. If that happens, essentially, the data transfer has glitched out. So you have two options. The first option is you will need to factory reset this iPhone 14 again and try it again, the full process, starting from scratch. If that still doesn't work, Unfortunately, this data transfer isn't supported. You will need to create an iCloud backup on your old iPhone, which you do by going into settings, tap on your Apple ID at the very top, select iCloud, iCloud backup, and then you can back up here. And then there'll be an option to restore from iCloud. You select that one. But now we have everything working. So you see transfer your data. We have the option to download from iCloud or transfer from iPhone. So we're gonna select it, transfer from iPhone. So the files 
on this old iPhone will be directly moved to the new iPhone 14. So I'll tap on this one here. You're going to get the iOS terms and conditions. Just select agree. You're going to see make this your new iPhone. Tap on continue. If you want to set up iMessage and FaceTime, select continue. But I'll personally select not now iPhone analytics, it's up to you whether or not you want to share this. I'm going to select don't share. I'll tap on continue. And now it wants me to install a software update. So I'll select download and install. And now I just got to wait for this software update to finish uh, on the iPhone 14. So this may take some time. Okay, the software update is finished. So let's unlock the iPhone 14. It should now reconnect. All right, there we go. We now see here transferring data to and transferring data from. So at this point, you just need to wait for everything to finish. Do keep in mind some apps may notice you did the transfer and they may require on your iPhone 14, you re-sign in to some of the accounts. So before you factory set your old iPhone, just make sure all of your accounts are signed in, make sure everything is good and then you're good to go. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.